Someone asked me, Janelle, how did you live in a house with nothing but drama 24-7? And the answer is meditation and a lot of Red Bull. Hey YouTube, it's your girl Janelle here from the 90s house. 90s are still forever. Um, I want to say sorry for being so late for this uh, review video for episode 4. My freaking editing software was just in a hot mess. And I just can't get it up. So, <laughs> here we go. Review uh, episode 4, 90s house season 1. Are you guys ready? <laughs> So since I'm late, I'm definitely going to have some, you know, some little uh, tea for you guys. But let's first start out with the movie poster. Uh, this episode was amazing. It was so much fun creating posters and being able to really be in front of a camera and do a photo shoot for a poster, like a 90s theme poster. Um, Chase and I had action. And I'm not going to hold you, okay? I still think that Chase and I was, were at least top two. And I think it sucks that we got shafted to be bottom two rather than top two. But it's okay. I do want to shout out Jimmy Pink, though. She is amazing in her review. She keeps it totally real. And she even said that Chase and I should have been at least top two. I mean, yes, there were a lot of action-worthy, um, you know, movie posters back in the day. And that that was definitely common. But you know what? It's cool. It's the 90s house. It's it's their rules. It's Lance Casino's rules. So, uh, yeah, we definitely got shafted when it came to that. Now, let's backtrack a little bit. MTV, okay, done dragged the whole Mark leaving bit. I get it. Mark and I were cool. You know, I thought Mark was a cool guy or whatever. But damn it, I was not into him romantically or into him physically whatsoever. Whatsoever. Let's say that's a whatsoever. Okay? Like, he's, I was not into him that way. So they dragged you with the whole boys to men. I mean, I was feeling it in the beginning. I'm like, oh, it's my jam. I'm like, what they saying? Who, you know, who, I'm thinking it. They're doing the whole, you know, um, hard to say goodbye because, you know, Lexus and Mark both left. And Lexus was my girl, like, on the show. Like, we were buddy buddies. Like, we were cool as hell. And it was like, all right. But then they go, you know, I'm really going to miss Mark. I'm like. All right. Okay. Can we move on this? Can we, can we, can we move past this now? We already addressed the fact that, yes. I don't have an actual type, but I love black men. I love white men. I love any type of, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm open. I don't have a type when it comes to men. Uh, and that's just me. Um, at the end of the day, personality is, plays a huge part. And yes, Mark had a great personality. And I'll give him that. But for the last time, okay, I am not into Mark romantically. Okay, that's it. Moving on. I know you guys saw uh, in one of the scenes, Dev and I talking about our alliance. I get it. There is no alliances when it comes to this house. We know. But being in the 90s house, you need to have people that are going to have your backs. And yes, we have the same agenda. Dev and I are like bros. Um, as far as who's close in the house, I'll tell you this right now. Me, Dev, and Sierra were like the three amigos. Chase is with us as well. But as far as me and Dev's alliance, it was mostly like a, I got your back, you got my back. For instance, what they, did, like, what they didn't show was that I said to Dev, I said, listen, if they were to ever ask us who would you take to final two or final three or whatever, if that question ever came up, because they do ask that, you know, during Illinois and Chilling, like, oh, who should be, who should go home or whatever, you'll say that you'll take me, I'll say that I take you. That was the alliance that Dev and I had. And... Dev and I are really super close, like, that's the bro. So, that was the reason why we had that moment and we basically made that alliance to have each other's back. Because it gets crazy in that bitch. It does. And as you can see later on in the fucking um, episode, at the end, when I was losing my motherfucking mind, I'll get more into that. But that really was because I legit had Dev's back. I legit had 
Sierra's back. Like, that's just who I, you know, like, that's the reason why I was reacting the way I was. And I'll get into that in a second, though. Let's move on. So, as you guys saw, Patrick was illing. I was chilling. Me and Chase were chilling. Um, it sucks because Patty was such a sweetheart. And he really was, this like, the positive side of the house 24-7. He had people's backs. He was just such a great light in the house. And people ask me, well, why the fuck are you crying? And it's like, I was never on a bounce pad. Like, that's my first time being on the bounce pad ever thus far this season. And it's like, that shit is like, hello, it's a, it's a real feeling. Like, you may go home. Like, Shay was crying. I was crying. Like, it was one of those things. People really... You're going to see some tears up there, okay? Because it's a real thing. I don't want to go home. I want to win this $90,000. That's that's the truth, and that's where it's at. So, of course, I was going to be a little bit of an emotional person, and I'm already an emotional person anyway, as you guys can see that. And it was, it was nerve-wracking. It was scary as fuck. All right, the moment you've all been waiting for, okay? The big-ass fight at the end that they didn't even show a lot of. All right. Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> the fight at the end happened. It started, it stemmed from when Dev said, Dev and CC are chilling, not shape, blah, blah, blah. Well, it started from before then, but that's what kind of like added fuel to the fire. Dev was trying to provoke, you know, Shay or whatever in like a, a competitive way, and it didn't work out too well because. Everybody's emotions are high right now. Shay was on a bounce pad. She could have went home. It was a lot of stuff going on from stemming from that moment on. Now, as far as why I was so emotional, why I was so upset, it's because what you guys didn't see when Shay began to start to spaz out, she said to Dev, I hope you die or I, I, I hope you die in your sleep. And at that point, I was already over the fact that everybody... I was over the fact that her and Dev were arguing. I was over it. Like, all right, can y'all can let it go? And then when she said that, I was like, all right, what the fuck is going on here now? Like, now, now this is like going from A to motherfucking Z. Zero to 60. Zero to 100, okay? And it was like, what are we really here for? Like, why are we really at this point right now where we are wishing death on each other like why is that even a thing why is that even okay right now for that to be going down like living in this house and competing for 90k will bring out the worst in people but at that point when i heard that and last week i was going down and then even deb you know continuing to like throw shots at, at shay i was like why are y'all like why are we here so yeah i had deb's back because that's not the way deb is but I also didn't want to see Shay come at Deb. I didn't want to see them at all, get in no type of physical altercation. And that's basically what the fuck happened. I mean, I was trying to really just stop them. And what got me so upset and emotional is that nobody else was up there. Nobody else. Besides Deb and Shay fight, you know, coming at each other. And then Prince trying to hold Shay back. And me trying to hold Deb back. Nobody else was there. Chase wasn't there. Like, nobody else was there to even, like, try and keep things cool, keep things kosher. And that really pissed me off. And then the fact that Shay wouldn't calm the fuck down and then Deb wouldn't calm the fuck down. I was, I was done. I was so done. You could stick a fork at my motherfucking ass. I was done. I mean, the sad part is that, you know, that fight probably lasted about a good 20, 25 minutes of them arguing back and forth and going crazy and shit. But you only see like 30 seconds. So you have to remember, like, you only get an hour's worth of content every Tuesday night at 11 p.m., okay? And you don't see everything. So there's certain things that you're going to be like, well, why did you react this way? Or why did you... And it's, it's a lot of things roll up into one. And... Sometimes I find it hard to explain to people like, yeah, listen, it's a real thing. Living in a house with, you know, tons of alpha personalities. And by now, we're down to the final six. So it's like, there are a lot of alpha personalities in this house that you have to live with. So now that we know people's trigger points, 
you know, for certain people, we know, you know, who gets crazy, who gets whatever. It's a lot. And like I said to the person, a lot of meditation because you're dealing with this 24-7. So I don't want to give too much as far as what's happening in episode five. However, um, you're going to see the aftermath of episode four and what transpired. And yeah, it's a lot. But um, yes, after this uh, review video, I will be posting this sneak peek. Well, I already did post a sneak peek for you guys last night, but I'll repost it again so you guys can see it, you know, just in case, you know, you're interested in seeing it over and over like me. I don't watch it like at least 40 times. Um, <laughs> if you have any questions or want me to, you know, talk about anything else and I'm able to, I got you. Hit me up, hit my um, comment section. Make sure you guys subscribe. Um, the videos probably will get shorter and shorter because, you know, the season's going and going and people are getting ill and ill and shit. So, you know, if you have any questions and I'm able to, to, to answer them, I got you. Hit my, 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 hit my comment box. Let me know what you guys think of the review. Let me know what you guys are confused about or have any type of, like, you know, whatever about. Um, but thank you guys for watching. And thank you for... Subscribing, watching the 90s, being a, a, a big supporter. I really do appreciate it. And I will be talking to you guys next week for episode 5. And it will be on time. You know, I always post these videos at least by Wednesday or Thursday evening, the latest. And now we're on Friday afternoon. But we made it here, guys. 90s forever. We made it. Let's do it. I love y'all. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting Team Janelle. Team Okay. And yeah. Talk to you guys soon. Peace. So last night was really off. Something. The yeah, it was, it was a bit much. Devin was very provoking. Then here comes Janelle doing all this huffing and puffing. <laughs> doing all this hollering like the big wizard of Oz. Devin need to stop this shit. I just can't do now. Why? Because he shouldn't have never top popped out. You pop off every day. Well, today I'm popping on stop. You pop off every damn day, and now you don't want to get out of the opinion. I can't stop. That's crazy. You trying to make me be quiet? You don't tell me what to say. I don't like all that. I don't need Janelle to break it up. I ain't here to be nobody friend. I ain't here to get cool nobody. I'm not here to be in the Prince daycare.